A fatal collision on Interstate 40 may have been the result of racing. That's what Asheville police are saying tonight. News 13's Justin Hinton joins us live from the police department just downtown. Justin, how did they come to that possible conclusion? Police say the driver was going about twice as fast as the speed limit down that stretch of road, though the passenger denies that they were racing. Andy was, was a one-of-a-kind guy, man. He always had a, a smile on his face. Saturday night, Asheville police say Andrew Anderson was heading east on I-40 when he lost control of his Camaro, heading into a curve around mile marker 48. It's my understanding that the vehicle was traveling on the interstate at a high rate of speed. It went off the road to the right and collided with numerous trees alongside the interstate. Sergeant Dave Romick says Anderson was doing about 114 in a 60 mile per hour zone. That's why investigators are looking into the possibility of racing as a factor in the crash. As far as another vehicle that's involved? There's nothing I can comment on at this time, but we're hopeful that by the time the investigation is over and has been uh, uh, shared with the district attorney's office, uh, we're hopeful that uh, all aspects of this incident will, uh, will come out. Race promoter Darren Edwards says Anderson was known in the local racing circuit. He says street racing does take place, but he does not know whether racing was a factor Saturday night. I'm really not sure. Uh, we, we don't know the answer to that. I know police are investigating it, you know, to, to find out what happened. I'm sure that's pretty standard for, for any type of automobile accident where someone loses their life. Edward says Anderson leaves behind a wife and a baby, just a few months old, which is one of the reasons he's trying to raise money for the family. I myself have two small children. Uh, I would like to think that after all these years of, of traveling around the southeast, um, that, you know, if, if something had happened to myself, uh, that somebody somewhere would step up and, and you know, help uh, help my family out in some way. For now, the investigation continues into what led to Anderson's death as they work to determine whether or not racing was a factor. When the investigation has concluded, I'm sure all of that will, uh, will come forward. If you'd like to help the family, just head to our website, WLOS.com, and search for this story. If you have any information on the wreck, you're asked to call the Asheville Police Department. Reporting live in Nashville, Justin Hinton, News 13.